Yes. I don't know if you heard this, but last week scientists have discovered a gene for happiness. And they also found genes for unhappiness. They're called skinny genes. <laughs> So it turns out a lot of our happiness is based on genes, which doesn't really surprise me. We've known for years there's a blood type for happiness, and that is B positive. Journalist Eric Weiner traveled around the world to countries he researched that were the happiest. He wrote a book called The Geography of Bliss, which uncovered surprising and unsurprising things about happiness. I was disappointed, surprised and disappointed, to find out does not involve uh, any of these South Pacific Islands or the Bahamas, but pretty cold, dark places like Denmark and Iceland and places like that. Um, so I vowed to write a book that was not just about the numbers um, and that was not beholden to those numbers. I used those partly as a guide to where I traveled but I also wanted to treat the world as kind of a laboratory of ideas. Here's what I mean by that. Say um, you have this hypothesis that money buys happiness. Well, how can you observe that up close, outside of the laboratory or just um, surveying a bunch of undergrads? Um, cut. I've learned many things from this book that have caused me to change my perspective on the world. The thing that makes me most happy is my animals. <laughs> I decided to reach out to my community and do my own search of happiness. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? I'm on the lacrosse fields because I feel really comfortable there. I feel confident. I love everyone there. Um, and getting good grades makes me happy. And being with my friends because I love my friends so much. And when I'm with them, I just feel like I can be myself. What makes me happy is being around family and friends and doing really fun things um, and, and focusing more on the good things in life rather than the bad things. I love it when you walk outside and it smells like summer. Like you know that smell, that smell, and it feels like warm, 85 degrees, and it just makes me so happy. I am definitely happiest when I'm either like at home, relaxed, and have like no care in the world, and I can just kick my feet up, or if I go on a fun trip, like if I go to Cape Cod with my family, I have a special place in my heart for that. So happy. Okay, I'm happiest with my friends. With the beach. And where I feel happiest is probably my roof by myself because I just listen to music there, it's just really relaxing. I'm a little cross of course, in my house, especially my basement, that's where all my friends and I go, and that's where we hang out, and it's just like a safe place. So. Yeah. I feel happy when I'm surrounded by people that bring good vibes. I'm really happy when I'm just hanging out with my friends and like we're just chilling and there's no pressure to do anything or whatever. We're just there, we're talking, we're hanging out, playing games. That's when I'm happiest. Happiness is that feeling that you get in your body when you can't stop smiling and everything is going amazing, like at the beach in the summer. I'm Ethan and I am happiest when I'm with my friends or family or petting my dogs or just being around the people that I care about. Oh, um, um, happiness. Happiness is uh, not having to wake up with an alarm, just getting up whenever you feel ready to wake up in the morning. Uh, beautiful day, taking a walk, 
shooting photographs with your cool camera. That's happiness for me. I am most happy when I'm on the beach somewhere, but I'm also very happy when I'm with my student council family like Sasha. I'm happy when I'm doing chemistry. Playing basketball makes me happy. I feel happiest when I don't have school work and I'm surrounded with friends. What makes me happy is listening to music and hanging out with my friends. Um, I feel most happy when I'm skiing with my family and it's it's good memorable time to spend with them. I feel happiest when I'm with my friends and family. Uh, my family makes me happy, my wife Jess, my two boys Charlie and Ryan, the Philadelphia Eagles. A place that makes me happy is Spruce Harbor Park in Philly, right on the water, and I like the like, rainbow hammocks and stare at the pretty lights. I'm happiest when I'm with my family and my dog. Uh, what makes me happy? My family, number one, especially my fiance Kate, and I really like food, chicken parmesan. Playing sports with my friends. We're happiest when we're together. Good food and good friends make me happy. What makes me happiest is being around my friends and my family and spending time with them. I feel happiest when I'm content with everything that's going on in my life. I, my definition of happiness is, I'm trying not to say happy in the definition, <laughs> is the feeling of just complete joy consuming you and finding what makes you feel that way. That's what happiness is. Me happy. Um, I guess a lot of little things like seeing my family, walking my dog, going to the beach, and I think that contributes to something greater. Like, when you're happy, you give, like, other people, like, you present this, like, aura of, like, happiness and joy that makes other people happy. So, I feel like happiness, it's, like, communal almost, that when you're happy, others are happy. And definition of happiness, kind of a tough one. I think it's just, like, anything that makes you, uh, like, synonyms would be, like, joyful, but it's just something that makes you excited about life and, like, just looking at the bright side instead of focusing on the negative. Um, happiness is, is, hmm, hard one. <laughs> it's where you feel most comfortable. <laughs> I'd say that you're happy with the general direction of your life. Like, it may not be a day-to-day, -day, like, you'll be happy, um, you might have some bad days, but I feel like if you are happy with, like, the future, and what you're gonna do with your life, and I think. From the community, I've learned that there may be some simple things that make everybody happy, but overall, everyone differs in what makes them happy, and it all depends on everyone's different identity. There are many misconceptions about happiness that can cause people to go down the wrong path if they think these misconceptions. Persian Gulf struck me as the perfect place to examine that because it's on a per capita basis the or one of the happiest countries in the world, sorry, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, and it's achieved that wealth suddenly, as if the whole country has won the lottery. If you are looking for fame to define you, then you will never be happy and you will always be searching for happiness and it, you will never find it in fame. And so it goes back to, I think for me, authenticity, intention. Why do you wanna do anything you do? It should not be motivated by something that you think is going to make, fulfillment comes from within you. And uh, 
I wanted to team up with, with some guys that I understood um, that would never die down in the moment. You know, and, and the opportunity presented itself with this great organization. <clears throat> and, um, you know, so, um, you know, I'm happy. You know, and, and anyone's job, you know, they always try to find um, some way they can do their job and be happy doing it. You know, and that's where I am right now um, in my life, um, as far as on the court and off the court. Um, and, you know, I just keep on, I'm trying to get better every day, as, not only as a basketball player, um, but as a father, as a friend. Um, I mean, all the above, I guess. When I was young, I thought that success was all I needed. That's what was going to bring the happiness, buying my mom a house, uh, being the fame, the accolades, having people say, yo, you are the best in the game. I thought those would be the things that would bring happiness. And then when those things came, the, the happiness wasn't there. And I, I realized why that was. There was, a, there was such an attempt to achieve these things and to keep going that you lose sight of the people and the, the blessings that you have around you. You're so focused on the next success, the next step in your career, the next check, whatever it is, and you forget the fact that you have these, these things that seem small um, if you're looking that way. But if you look this way, you realize they're the only thing that matters. And that's your mother, that's your family, that's love. You know, I just noticed that some of these people that got everything that we think we want, deep down they're not happy. Mm -hmm. Which I could relate to because I, I went through that period where it's like I had all these blessings, but the happiness wasn't there. The key is to find what makes you happy. Once you find it, keep doing it and keep sticking with it. Don't try to compare to others and what they're doing because you may lose focus on what you really love to do. For me, happiness is found in the little things in life. Whether it's a flower I see on the sidewalk, or a good laugh I have with my friend, the simple things matter to me most. Once you find what truly makes you happy, it's one of the best feelings in the world. If you're struggling to find out what makes you happy, which many do, people do struggle with, start out with simple things like laughing. You can make yourself happy simply by forcing yourself to smile for as long as you can. So I thought well, we should all try it. Let's smile as long as we can, okay? <laughs> <laughs>